If you are new to InDesign, you may have experienced some frustration with understanding how to place images onto your page. So let's go over that now. To place images, we go to File, Place, Shortcut, Command D, or Control D for non-Mac users. I'm going to place this cute picture of a kitten. Open. You can see that my cursor is loaded with it, so I'll click once to see what happens. It comes in like that, pretty big. So let me zoom out a bit. And your first instinct might be to, oh, I will scale this uh, with this handle here. But look what happens. All it does is scale the frame that the image is inside of. So it's important to understand that when you put images into InDesign, it places them into a frame box. So in essence, you're dealing with two different things here. The frame itself and then the image itself. With this donut, if you move this, you're actually moving the image. That's what that little graphic is there for. I'm willing to bet you usually just want to scale the image down and move it around and not have all of this fuss. So let's continue. What might we do next? If we find ourselves in this situation, I'll zoom back in. We could then go to the direct selection tool, click back onto the image. Now it is selecting the image and not the frame. So it's important to understand that the direct selection tool lets you manipulate your image and the selection tool manipulates the frame. So what might happen? Let me start to bring it up. As you can see, the image is now distorting. Let's undo that and hold down the shift key while taking the size down. That'll keep your proportions. So let's try another way of bringing the image in. I'll go ahead and delete this and start over. Command D, grab that kitten image, place it again by clicking once. I'll zoom out so I can easily grab these handles. Same issue is happening again. We can right click and go find fitting. And let's try fill frame proportionally. And this is what happens. Let's undo that to try the other one. Right click, fitting, fit content proportionally. See what it does? It brings the entire image into that frame. So let's explore yet another way to do this. I'll delete this, Command D, bring in that kitten. Instead of clicking once, click and drag the size box that I think I might want. And then I'll zoom in. You might decide that you need a lot of information on this page and you could just tuck the frame in without affecting the image. I want to show you a fourth way. I'll zoom out. If you hold down the shift and command keys on your keyboard, then grab the handle and bring it in, then everything resizes at once, which is likely the tip that you really want. So I hope this cleared up some of the issues you might be having when placing images into your InDesign document.